Power Rangers Mystic Force, Episode 25, The Hunter, Praises and Lows. Nick gets a surprise, sort of thematic considering what's in store with him for the rest of the episode. Xander does this bad supervising. I got a legit laugh out of that. His act- actor did a good job. Vina says Toby's eyes twitches. I hope her only eye twitches on Twitch. Good job, making that seem very unpleasant. And somewhat humorous. Also, it's sort of a weird thing having Toby be being inconsistent regarding whether the Rock Portman workers are good or bad. Not so much should Nick win that award and not Xander or someone else. It's all Xander's character is. But that's part of the joke, I guess. Maddie gets some nice moments. Although a bit lukewarm, she gets to save Nick's life. She has a moment to reflect their journey in the Rock Porium during this scene, too. No actual touching, though. Disney powers. Nick wants to stay in Briarwood. It'd be cool if he mentioned their journey together to be friends. To add a little bit more stakes to the episode. Not to mention going back to Root Core later. I guess he does a little bit, but you know what I mean. Maybe you don't, but I sort of get what I mean. Lee sort of feels left out. It would be cool if her and Claire became friends at the end of the series. Speaking of which, Claire mentions how Udana should depend on her since she used to become a better sorceress. Or she actually has powers. Claire has a bit of an Amy Adams thing going on her, asking where she should turn Udana into a neuter or not. A good moment for the two. On to the good versus evil themes of Power Rangers Music Force Episode 25, The Hunter. Uh, Megahorn's a little weird. I can understand that he's trying to sound like Cobra Commander or the Claw from Inspector Gadget, but sometimes he sounds a little bit inappropriate, and it's weird. But I think that te- there was no racist intention behind that, and I think it, they were just trying to make a cartoony voice, so it's okay. I can go into an article about that, but we'll see how the reaction is. The animation for Achilles' fights, although not as dark as Magic Ranger, are still a little bit scary to see Mystic Force Ranger's bodies forced and laid down disappear. Although I praise the light storyline more, the bad light just still feels a little bit forced, or maybe just not done well. He could have meditated or something before getting the power. There's also a bit too much fighting, not enough story. Itasis wants to fight Megahorn or fighting Dagron. The US Megahorn sort of looks awesome with that extra green compared to the Japanese suit. Adaptation decay. Phineas has a good moment with Nick. Would have been cool to see a moment with him at the end of the series, episode, whichever. As much as I don't like Lily Vo, her moment at the end of the episode was pretty good. And she proved that she belonged in the Rockporium. What are your thoughts on the episode? Comment below.